I entitled here with Weapon Locker. Today's episode will be the first in the budget weapon series, where I'll be looking at the weapons in the lower cost brackets and seeing if they can compete with their higher cost counterparts. The weapon we will be looking at today is the Terran Republic's MSWR, usable by the Heavy Assault. This weapon comes in at a cost of 100 certs or 250SC. It is clear from the outset that the MSWR is geared for a close quarters roll. It has a fire rate of 750 rounds per minute. This is the highest of all the TR light machine guns, apart from the T9 carve, which equals this fire rate. The hip fire of this gun is what separates it in close quarters from the TR's other LMGs. Its hip fire is equal only to the T32 Bull and the NS15M, but they don't have the fire rate of the MSWR. The fire rate and hip fire accuracy of this gun allows the user to throw a lot of light at damn range with quite good accuracy. This makes it an absolute beast in close quarters as it allows you to take out targets with relative ease. From a damage per bullet perspective, MSWR equals all the other TR LMGs. This is 143 damage up to 10 meters and 125 afterwards. Apart from the TMG 50 though, because this actually does more damage per bullet, but this is geared as a longer range weapon, so as a result this doesn't really concern us. When it comes to reload speeds, the MSWR is fairly good. It has a reload speed of 3.65 seconds for an empty clip, or 3.045 seconds if it is still around in the magazine. This time difference makes quick reloading important with this gun. For the sake of detail, there are LMGs available to the Terran Republic that beat the MSWR reload speed. First up is the T32 Bull, which only beats it on the long reload at 3.565 seconds and is slower on the quick reload at 3.19 seconds. The real star though is the NS15M. This clocks an impressive 2.5 quick reload and a 2.15 long reload. The reload speed though does bring round to the main disadvantage of this weapon. This is the clip size of only 50 rounds. Believe me, in NLMG this does not go that far at all. I often find myself having to reload and swap to my sidearm more than I would like. The reload speed does negate this to some degree, but it's only useful when there's no enemies around and I can reload safely. The muzzle velocity of this weapon is another drawback. The weapon only clocks at 580 meters per second, making it the slowest of all the TR LMGs. The low muzzle velocity of this gun means that if you are taking out enemies at range, tracking and burst fire is all but essential. It's not the worst gun out there, but if you'd like to use it at range, you do need to take into account the low muzzle velocity. Now comes the question of the weapon's attachment. I use a one times reflex sight. This is because I don't really feel that I need the magnification of another sight since this weapon is primarily used as a close quarters gun. When it comes to the barrel for this gun, I find that the suppressor works best. Even though it reduces muzzle loss further, since you are using this gun in close range primarily, the loss isn't really noticeable. 
and being able to stay hidden from the enemy is a godsend in close quarters. For the rail I like the forward grip. This is because of the improvement it gives to the horizontal recoil and I find that this improvement extends the range of the gun by about 10 metres. This said, the laser sight is another good choice but I find because the gun already has fairly good hip fire accuracy the forward grip's advantages outweigh this. And finally I use soft point ammo with this gun. Even though like with the suppressor this reducing muzzle velocity, I find that because you're using the gun in close range you never really notice this and with it being soft point ammo it allows you to take down enemies more effectively in close range. Overall I would give this gun 7 out of 10. It's more than worth the 100 so you're going to pay for it so it is definitely a budget buy and can keep up with its more expensive rivals. All in all, this gun is a powerhouse at close range. As long as you keep it within 30 meters or so, in my opinion, you're gonna love it. The main drawback is the clip size, as stated before, but as long as you can manage your reloads effectively, you should manage fine with this gun. This has been Iron Tyrant, thanks for watching.